Now, from an injured serviceman to a teenage schoolgirl, the 15 men and women who will make up Team GB's Winter Paralympic squad have just finally been revealed. The team has never won gold in any of the previous games, and with the excitement of 2012 still fresh in the memory, it's hoped that Sochi can do the same for winter disabled sport. But it's emerged that a credible terrorist threat is overshadowing the games. From Glasgow, our sports reporter, Jordan Jarrett Bryan. It's Paralympic pandemonium again, and these are the guys and girls selected to bring back our best ever medal haul at the Winter Games. Of the five sports involved, GB are sending teams in wheelchair curling and alpine skiing. As with the Summer Games of 2012, the nation will be entertained whilst educated in sports not familiar to most. Alpine skiing is split over three classifications. Physical impairments, standing. Physical impairments, sitting. And visual impairments. The pressure of winning GB's first ever gold medal at the Winter Paralympics lie with Kelly Gallagher and guide Charlotte Evans. As a sport, it's evolving as it's itself as well. You know, the IPC had had a youth circuit and there's quite a lot of people coming, you know, when they started off when they were 15 or 16, now they're 19, 20. And like the level of the sport, even since I have started, has been just so much more competitive, I guess. So I get, you know, I guess as it gets more competitive, you're going to get more competitive people in it and just the sport is evolving, really. But hoping to join them on the podium in the same event, our fellow Brit duo, visually impaired Jade Etherington and guide Caroline Powell. The partnership is a new one and both are aware how important trust is. So she can trust me that I'm going to tell her everything about anything really, because <laughs> I'm her eyes at the end of the day. Building that trust and building the relationship um, prior to skiing, um, before putting ourselves in that competitive environment definitely helps so then when we were training, when we were racing, we knew how each other worked and we could communicate that and hopefully perform. What wheelchair curling might lack in exhilarating action, it definitely makes up for in tactical know-how. It follows the same format as able-bodied curling, the only difference being no sweeper in front of the stone. In Sochi, the building of the park that will host the Olympic and Paralympic Games has gone well, but the Games have been overshadowed by the threat of a terror attack from groups operating in the nearby North Caucasus. But those threats haven't distracted sit skier Mick Brennan, who himself lost his legs in a suicide bomb attack in the Iraq War of 2004. The, um, the Russian government have uh, assured um, the BPA that, that you know, they've, they've brought into more security, the over 250,000 um, troops and stuff like that. How distracting is it as an athlete, is it, for you? It must be a not little all, bit short. Not at no? all. No? Not at all. You know, we, at these sort of big events, there's always talk of uh, stuff like that, what's going to happen. Like I say, when I, when I joined the army, I knew there was a chance that I could get injured or um, get killed. And, but you, you do never, honestly, do never think it's never going to happen to you. If the Winter Paralympics are half the success of the 2012 Games, it will be another step forward for disability sports.